Yeah. Yeah. I've been down so long, it look like up to me. They look up to me. And this is the beat. I'm bringing you a little beat and a little natural hair. Um, again, if you have any questions, I'll try to list everything in the description box. But um, if I don't and you have a specific question, then you can ask me and I'll answer to you specifically. Um, but I hope that you guys like it. And if you want me to do more videos like this, Give me a thumbs up, please. Um, let me know that you guys are watching and you're interested. Let me know if you want me to do a specific type of video. I can do that for you guys too. And thank you for all my subscribers that are still with me. All the people who do look at my video, even if you're not subscribed, just, you know, looking. <laughs> it means a lot to me and it makes me motivated to continue doing this. I really love when people come and tell me they watched it and they learned something and that means a lot to me support because I have gotten a lot of support from YouTube and just family and friends and co-workers so you know trying to push myself to to get out of my comfort zone and I not really give a flying what people say about me it's gonna be positive and negative with anything that you do but the most important thing for me is to, to continue to do it regardless of the negative that comes my way about it but for the most part it's been really really positive and if it has been negative honey it just went right over my head because i didn't even pay attention to it i didn't even notice i just been focused on the positive so i just want to say thank you again and i hope that you guys love this look First, we're going to brush out these hairs. I just got my hairs, um, my eyebrows waxed like a couple days ago, so they're not too bad. And I'm going to fill that in a little bit. this part up. Eyebrow pencil is Milani's uh, eyebrow in dark brown, and like I say, it has the actual product on this side and the spoolie on this side. And to conceal underneath my eyebrows, I'm using Maybelline Master Conceal in light to medium. A brush like this, and it's kind of like pointed. And shape out my brows. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I put everything on the back of my hand to warm it up. So just to let you guys know. And we're just gonna outline the brows. Side, I've been using this to um, 
do under my eyes before I put my foundation on. So we're just gonna use this today also. <laughs> look sometimes it does do a little fallout so we're gonna do our eyeshadow first so this is the palette that i got from them pinky rose they have pinky rose cosmetics across the front and across the back it says under every crown is a rose and then they have the website down here so you guys go check them out and this is what the palette looks like this is what the palette looks like all of these shades it's like a neutral this one is like the earth hue palette is what they call it but um all neutrals like every neutral color and then you have some pinks and then you have some purples and you know you have a black which is always good in the palette and then you have like a couple of shimmers they have shimmers as well as matte you have like really nice colors like I like odd and weird colors so like you have this like mustard color and then it's like country green and like the brown and like this shimmer shade I love um yeah but and then it's like pinky shade and like dark brown so I think overall there's another purple I think overall this is a great palette price the price was $32.99 I think the price of the it's a regular palette I think it's like 36 32 or 36 and I think I might have got it on sale for 27 or 28 something like that but the palette I can definitely tell you it wasn't more than $40 with it not being on sale so I think overall like this is a great palette great starter palette great for anybody that just need a whole bunch of neutrals like even look at those grays they're really nice too like great palette I, I really have all good things to say about it so this is what we're gonna be using today and then brush something like this mine's a little shaped like that and for you guys who don't know what transition shade transition shade is this one which is probably more of my skin tone than this one but for this video we're gonna use this one because I kind of want it to be a little a little darker so I'm just gonna focus that right here And just a winchy wiper motion. You just want to blend that in your crease. See? right underneath the transition shade. Take a, um, a brush like this. Pink. So we're just gonna this high pink. Look at that pigment, you guys. Look. Look at that. So nice here, you guys. Like, right in this little, see this little meaty part? Gonna focus that right in here and on the outer corner, like this.
pigment black on the outer portion of my eye. Black and the pink mix. I'm gonna just kind of go over it again. Blending brush and a minty wiper over all your shadows just to make sure they're all blended. My lashes are eyelash extensions. Um, I will usually line my la my eyes and then put my lashes on. But because I already have my lashes on, um, I'm just gonna kind of take a brush like this and just take black eyeshadow and kind of run it across my lash line. So that's all I'm gonna do, just to kind of shape it up a little bit. But we'll. You put shadow on the bottom, but I don't do that until after I finish my foundation. This is Maybelline Fit Me in 240. We're using foundation brush like this, and my foundation is on the back of my hand, and I'm putting it on my face. Take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend it all out. Wanna stick again and outline 
where I'm contouring my face at. So, here, just basically outlining the cheekbones. I'm done. Don't forget all of these out to do this, so. And then, on your nose. Little smaller. Looking, you know. Okay. And then your forehead. Like that. But before I blend that out, I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. And that looks like this. And it's a the brush like this. brush like so just that setting powder away bronzer that I have and I have no idea who it's from. I got it out of like a beauty gas supply store and I have my fluffy uh I would say tapered angle brush and I'm just going back over where I put the contour just in case I wipe it away when I put that setting uh powder or that foundation, press, press foundation. Just go over. Look. Brow gel and set my brow. How to use the Milani uh, blush. I think this one is rose. Rose or but I'm not sure. Her angled brush, but this one's like more fluffy. And I'll just roll it around there and then apply my blush. Then I'm gonna take um, a highlighter out of the Kali Bible palette. And, and this palette is, uh, can be found on these cosmetics. And I'm gonna take these two medium shades here and highlight my face with a fluffy brush like this. Top of the cheekbone, 
This is the final look, you guys. 